would like to start uh, from my son. My Christos, eminences, uh, reverend fathers, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, let me thank the organizers, not because they invited us, but because they organized this conference uh, on a very important topic, a very current topic, and a topic that will concern be of concern for the uh, next few years. Lots of conferences uh, uh, can take place, uh, but I speak uh, particularly on the role of the church for all these uh, uh, new uh, means, media. So before uh, answering your question, uh, which is very interesting indeed, and uh, could also lead uh, the discussion elsewhere, I would like to say, yes, I represent the printed press in this discussion, uh, but I also have an internet experience with my friend Emilio, so we have the broadcast together, and uh, I have knowledge, and uh, I watch uh, the um, Ayuridico Vima, or of Mr. Theoharis, um, I, uh, and all the other websites. There are a lot of websites, but most of them are not known to the broad public. Uh, they have very low visitability. Uh, However, I would, I would like to explain and say that journalists are the same, irrespective of whether they work for the radio, the television, or the printed press. Uh, the journalist uh, must have the same professionalism, uh, irrespective of the media he works for. And uh, the different characteristics of the media uh, oblige you to uh, um, adapt uh, to, uh, uh, to, the, to the specific reality. Uh, for example, in the printed press, uh, you, you can uh, search for um, the facts. Uh, you, you have more time available. Uh, however, on TV and in the radio, this is more difficult to do. Uh, you must uh, follow the current affairs, and these current affairs uh, will uh, uh, drag you, and um, maybe you will um, make mistakes uh, in the process. CNN is an example. Uh, do we try to, to uh, use a Greek uh, website because of a specific uh, uh, um, mistake? Uh, must we condemn it? Uh, yes, OK, it is a mistake. But what is important is that you have the courage to recognize it and try to rectify that. And there is also a very delicate point. The ecclesiastical media have more responsibility than secular media. And those serving ecclesiastical news must do their job more delicately than in the secular um, news it's not uh, news media it's not the same uh, to accuse a politician and uh, the same to accuse a priest uh, at that moment uh, the uh, person and uh, what that person symbolizes uh, are very important at the same time a medium uh, cannot uh, um, accuse the church or ecclesiastical figures uh, only because uh, it thinks uh, that this will sell more. We have seen that uh, in uh, the past. Uh, Christodoulos uh, had uh, um, witnessed that. Um, he witnessed uh, an era of uh, scandals uh, that uh, um, created many problems to him and himself, but also to the church. Uh, the monastery of Vatopedi uh, is still in the mind of many people uh, to blame for um, something strange that happened there. 
So it is uh, of uh, paramount importance uh, to be very careful uh, when you go out and accuse a priest or the church itself. And uh, if uh, this uh, is happening from uh, secular journalists, it uh, should uh, be totally forbidden to us. <clears throat> in, there are bad things everywhere in the church, morbid uh, phenomena that need to be cured. We <clears throat> inform, we uh, inform about uh, ecclesiastical affairs when we know that there is something uh, strange going on, what is uh, the attitude? Do we publicize it? Do we write about it? Or do we, uh, do we keep it uh, uh, silent? Some people think that we should not uh, bring air such things in order not to harm the good name of the church. Personally, I don't agree with this. A journalist uh, cannot uh, cover uh, cover up. Um, I think that if you uh, divulge um, things that are not uh, good, uh, there is a possibility of treating the evil. And some people do tell us, why did you say that so-and-so uh, uh, -so, uh, stole from the church's money? Uh, this is scandalizing for the faithful. <coughs> I personally think that we cannot uh, keep such things secret. Uh, personally, I think that uh, this very subject could become uh, the, uh, the, uh, the subject for a whole day's conference, and I am uh, seizing this opportunity to uh, propose this, to suggest this to the organizers. Anyway, I think that uh, what really, what the bet is, um, is to uh, have uh, uh, validity of uh, exactness of information and uh, credibility win. Uh, not easy in our times, but you see, this is not only true for the ecclesiastical digital media, it is true for all uh, digital media. Um, is um, a website uh, exactly the, of the same value and uh, validity with uh, a well-known uh, um, newspaper that uh, has been in circulation for years and years in the conscience of, uh, of, the, of the reader? Of course not. Uh, and I'm referring here to uh, serious uh, newspapers and we all know tabloids. Uh, it is um, what uh, the newspaper usually says uh, is correct, uh, is true. What the website uh, or we read on an internet page, we usually believe it, uh, but we also have a doubt somewhere in the back of our minds about it, about the veracity of the information. However, uh, it is important uh, for uh, ecclesiastical sites to be professional and to be persistent. Oh, there will always be mistakes made. Let me now raise uh, the reverse uh, question. Is uh, the church doing what it's best in order to, in, to, 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 to enhance this uh, validity and credibility? Uh, is it embracing the hearts? I'm afraid not. If there is a newspaper or a radio uh, station, let's take the example of a radio station that uh, plays classical music all the time. Will uh, the people, will the listeners uh, um, love, uh, come to love classical music uh, uh, simply or merely by virtue of listening to this radio? No, they already love classical music, but uh, this uh, station will uh, refresh their memories, will uh, remind them of uh, pieces that they liked. And um, it is exactly the same with the church. Uh, uh, the church formally is under the obligation to find ways in order to support the real serious professionals. And I'm not, I don't mean that the church should uh, subsidize them. I mean 
help them uh, the other, in other ways, find people for them that can write well, uh, channel uh, news. Um, <clears throat> I know that I have uh, uh, exceeded uh, the time allotted to me, so I shall uh, stop uh, here. Anyway, I will just close, in, close by saying that we want to have a monthly a uh, newspaper. We tried uh, three years ago to use, to put in uh, the newspaper a magazine on ecclesiastical news. Uh, three years ago we were told uh, that we were dreamers and uh, nutters. Um, three years later it is uh, proven that uh, um, we were not. And nowadays, if you go to the kiosk to buy your Sunday press, you will find that there is at least three or four papers uh, selling uh, with uh, um, ecclesiastical um, magazines, um, lives of saints, and so on and so forth. Um, nothing. The press will not die because the digital media exists. Um, the books, the printed books, well, hard copies will not die because we have uh, uh, electronic books. So we have to use everything that we have at our disposal.